So, honey. Yes, dear. How is the day going to be like? Um, nothing really serious. I want to go to the market and get some foodstuffs. And from there, I, I need to go see mom at the hospital. Don't worry about that. I'll follow you to see your mom in the hospital. But that should be later in the day. Really? Sure! Wow, that is so thoughtful of you. Thank you. I love you so much. I love it to be you. <laughs> ah. <laughs> and my, my day will be blessed today mm -hmm. at work. Have a great day. Yeah. And please don't stress yourself too much. Yes. Ma! <laughs> <laughs> Come see me. I'm not in the mood. Stop. Baby, stop. I want you. Please. Can you stop? Stop! I had a stress for you at work. I know. We can do this tomorrow. I know, but I'm your wife. I need you. Please. Stop! Hey, hey, hey. And what do you think you're going to? I'm coming with you. Going with me to where? Anywhere you are going to. I don't care. You want to leave me in this big house? You mean you want to turn me into a housewife? It won't work for you. You're just being stubborn. I mean, you're just being obstinate for nothing. I am your husband and I deserve some respect. You lost my respect the day you started cheating on me. I never cheated on you. Never done Really? That. It's written all over you. Nora, let me tell you something. You see, nagging is not good for your health. Oh. I'm not nagging. I'm not a nagging wife. Eh? I never did. But you just did. You know what? I don't have time for this nonsense. I'm going with you wherever you are going to. I know you want to go and see one of your numerous girlfriends. <laughs> but we'll go together. I'll go spoil your show today. Let's go. Enter this car. We'll go together. Let's go and meet those of girlfriends. We are going together. Enter the car. I'm waiting for you. Welcome to the world of fashion, La Vive Boutique, where fashion meets souls. We have different affordable and luxurious outfits to meet your need. Wow, this is beautiful. Please, where is your shoe section? Over there. So, let's go.
Um, are you on any social media platform? Yes. Yes, of course. We're on Instagram, you can reach us on Lavi Boutique online. Lavi Boutique. Oh, okay. Wow, this is nice. Um, please, can I have this? Yes, please. Why are you not? Uh, okay. Um, you want any other thing? One more. Um, this is nice no, too. Oh, okay. Have this, please. Okay. Oh, it's fine. Yeah. Is that all? Yeah, that be all. Yeah. Peggy. Yes. Are you sure you don't want any other yeah. things? Fine. Okay. I'll come next time. Peggy. Yes. Okay, so we're done. And let's go downstairs. Let's go make payments. Now. Thank you, let's go. Thank you. <laughs> yes, please. Oh. Yes. Wow. So, what do I offer you? Oh. I'm not in the mood for that. In fact, that question is not necessary. Look, Lucy. I am tired of my husband's behavior. He stops me or says every night and woke up the next morning pretending as if nothing happened, expecting me to be happy with him. And when I complain, he calls me a nagging wife. That's exactly how men start behaving. Men want to start cheating. Sorry. <laughs> no vex so. Mm. See, babe, remember I told you. Take your time to study this man. But no, you decided that you already really jumped into marriage. Cut it. Excuse you? What are you trying to say? What I'm trying to say is that being a single mom huh, is more peaceful than this whole thing you call marriage. Hey, hey, Lucy, please just stop it. Enough. For the fact that marriage did not favor you does not mean it will favor me. <laughs> I can see that it's favoring you. <laughs> Lucy, can you just stop? It's not funny. I came here for you to advise me, not you judging me. <laughs> Sorry. I'm advising you. You know what? The only advice I can offer to you, eh? Stop asking that man for sex because obviously you're making yourself cheap. My husband. Yeah. My own husband. Yes, your husband. <laughs> Don't you know men are all the same? <laughs> Whether they are married though, hmm? or they are single, all of them are the same. Yes, think about it. <laughs> Guys, yeah, what's up? There are this new club. In town, Pistos Club. Wow, wow. Ah, yeah, Pistos. Yeah. I heard it. What you guys think? We go there this weekend and have fun? Yeah, guys, I'm game. Oh. I'm game, I'm game, I'm game. I want to unwind. It's been a long time. For once, I want to catch crews. <laughs> well, I'm interested in this club thing. <laughs> <laughs> See who is talking. No fun for you this time go home and have fun with your wife i mean you're a responsible married man you should go and party with your wife you're not clubbing with us this time <laughs> why why he's a responsible man, he's a responsible man. <laughs> hey victor are you a christian muslim hindu buddhist which one are you whatever you see there is nowhere where it is written that a responsible married man should not catch crews. I want to claw. I wonder. Come, choose. Let me let me let me start from you. Is it this? Okay. Is it this? Smoke up, man. Allow him to enjoy himself. Life. Being married doesn't stop him from catching crews. <laughs> <laughs> oh wait, you're not serious. Trust me. You're not serious. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Look at him. <laughs> Rasta. <laughs>
What? God, stop! What's that? I need rest. I'm exhausted for God's sake. Baby, you said today my body is on fire. I need you. Fire? I'm exhausted for God's sake. Fire again. What kind of a man denies his wife says, eh? I am your wife. Same kind of man that works every day to put food on the table. What kind of stupid excuse is that? You keep telling me one thing every day. For God's sake, Owe. Here we go. It's night. Please. It is night. Are you okay? You sounded so urgent on the phone. Tell me, is everything all right? Huh. Fito, I really need your help. But before then, I have a very important question for you. What is it? Do you think my husband is faithful in this marriage? Are you calling him a cheat? Or what are you talking about? No, 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 no. I never said that. But Vito, amongst his friends, you are the only one that I trust. Honestly speaking, this is not what I bargained for. Seriously. You really need to talk to your friend. Because this thing called marriage is driving me crazy. What exactly are you insinuating? You tell me, as a marriage therapist that you are, what kind of a man denies his wife her conjugal rights and stops her from a source of income? What kind of a man does that? He has no justification to that. Just put yourself together. I will talk to him. Okay? <sighs> Thank you very much for your time. I really appreciate. But please, try and talk to your friend, please. The pleasure is all mine. Wouldn't you like to take something? Maybe a drink or? No, 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 I'm fine. I don't need anything. I don't feel like taking anything. No, 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 I'm fine. I'm okay. Baby. Mm. My boss called me today. And what did you tell him? I told him I need to discuss it with my husband and get back to him. Very good. You will stop work with that man this very minute. You're no longer working with him. Why? I don't want my wife to work for any man. It is slavery. Slavery, you say? I studied four years in the university with a second class opera. There are thousands of youths out there with a better resort. I'm longing to work in a well-paid company. And now I have one, you want me to forfeit it because of this marriage? Have you forgotten it was the pressure of the job that led to your miscarriage? Have you? No, my darling husband. I can remember vividly how I stressed myself in your father's burial that led to my last miscarriage, not my office work. And you know it. Nora, I am the man of this house. And whatever I say is final. I ain't working there anymore. Period. Really? So you, you want me to be a housewife? You, you don't want me to work again? Why? You want me to quit my job? It is what it is, man. Ah. Oh. How are you, Owen? Fine. Fine. Wow. So sorry for keeping you waiting. I was jammed up with traffic. I, I 
Uh, I, I understand, I understand. You sounded so urgent on the phone. I hope Paul is well. Yeah, Owen. I have something very important to discuss with you. I just hope you could handle it very maturely. And what could that be? What I'm about to say is actually none of my business. What I mean, we are friends and I'm supposed to tell you the truth. You understand me? So, what is this thing you want to tell me? It's about your wife. She complained so bitterly about you denying her of her conjugal rights. I mean, Owen, you shouldn't be doing that. She's a woman, you should handle her carefully and not in that manner. <laughs> you mean Nora told you that? She did, Owen. She wasn't telling me that to pick up a fight or quarrel. She just needed someone that could talk to the husband. She meant no harm. You see, Vic, what I saw in my wife before I proposed to her is not what I'm saying again. I understand you, Owen. You need to understand that we are friends and now I'm a marriage therapist. Whatever the challenges are, just tell me, I can help. Owen, you have to understand that going through these things carefully is very important. With time, you will pass over this process and everything will be fine. That's what I'm trying to figure out. I no longer understand my wife. And sometimes I begin to wonder if I made a mistake by marrying her or, or I, I don't know. I'm not just comfortable with anything again at all. I'm not. It's a gradual process. Just put yourself together. With time, everything will be fine. You will pass over it, okay? I appreciate this. Thanks for your honor and support. Thanks I for having me. It's okay. Thanks for having me. I really appreciate it. Oh. I should really want to thank you for scuttling your schedule. No problem. <laughs> hmm, you're so funny. <laughs> I'll call you back. Okay. Good evening, babe. How was your day? As usual, it was even more stressful today. Oh, so sorry about that. I know you need a warm bath and a body massage. <laughs> <laughs> you see, I waited for three hours for Victor at the boys' bar. He sounded so urgent on the phone. So I was thinking maybe... Baby, it's okay. You just came back. You need to rest. We can talk about it later. Nora, how dare you? How dare you bring in a third party into this marriage, Nora? Baby, I needed to talk to someone that can change your mind. Nothing else. Talking to a fellow man like me will do you any good? You think it will solve the problem? Oh, well, what is your problem? For crying out loud, Vitor is a marriage therapist. And I know he can help. I have tried so hard to be a perfect wife for you. No, you keep pushing me to the wall. A marriage therapist that is not married. Nora, a marriage therapist that is not married. It will interest you to know, since you want to know the cause of my problem, that you and this thing we call marriage, this bondage we call marriage, is the cause of my problem. Oh, really? That is a perfect justification for denying me sex. Really? What's the essence of having sex with you when you cannot hold a child? No, tell me! What is the essence of pounding you every night when you cannot hold a child? Since I met you, it's been dead luck everywhere. You've been married for two whole years. And you've had seven miscarriages, Nora. Seven miscarriages since you came into my life. It's been dead luck. No moving forward. No way. So it's my fault that I had miscarriages. Or is it my fault that things are not working well for you? You are bad luck. You are bad 
look a nightmare. Every day I keep asking myself, is this I'm going to live my life with you forever? I don't want to curse the day I met you. I am tired of this whole thing called marriage. I don't know how it works. I have tried so hard to make it work, but to no avail. Stop crying. I am here for you. Anything you are seeing now in your marriage is normal. A lot of challenges comes. But you must learn to overcome it. Mm? Um, I have tried. You didn't explain these things to me. Owe is not the man I thought he is. He has changed. My daughter, don't worry. I will see you tomorrow. But first, you must stop crying. Please. <laughs> Mom, Mom, you need to do something. I'm losing it. I don't know what to do anymore. Please. Okay. I'll be waiting. Thank you, Mom. Thank you. <laughs> Hello. Are you still crying? No, I'm fine. <laughs> it's alright. <laughs> and don't tell me you're still in the kitchen. Yes, I was arranging some things in the kitchen. And I'm sure you did not eat the food you cooked. Yes, his favorite. I spent two hours preparing his favorite and he didn't eat it. Anyway, you see, eh? Love is a beautiful thing, oh. But you see this marriage thing. Me, I don't understand it. Anyway, my dear, go to bed and sleep. I'm sure everything will be okay. You better don't stress yourself. Better put yourself together. Because of marriage. You see why I prefer my single life? Okay. I believe you. Thank you so much for everything.
He does this each day. The most annoying part is denying me sex. What do you mean by denying you sex? I don't know. I, I don't understand. I'm even confused. Mom, it's not funny. My husband called me a bad luck. He thinks I'm the cause of my miscarriages. <sighs> Apart from sex in marriage, what spices it up? Attention and communication, of course. No. Though it matters. But understanding. Patience, perseverance is what you must not lack. <sighs> I married your father at a tender age. And it wasn't easy for me. We went through a lot before we got used to each other and understood that marriage is for better, for worse. Yes, my dear. You see, I have listened to you, but he never denied you says. He never did. You are right. But no one rejects a cup of tea for a cup of soured milk. My dear, that is where I know that something is wrong somewhere. Oh, he thinks I'm the cause of my miscarriages. Remember you rushed into this marriage. after eight months of meeting him because your friends we are getting married see after a relationship comes courtship at least for one year there you go again mom this is 21st century for god's sake things are not done that way and that is why 85% of this country's problem is home violence and divorce. Yes, all over. Can't you see? Oh. The question is, what do I do? Good. Now you're talking. Like mother, like daughter. Then come here. Shoot. You know what? You know you are a queen. And you deserve to be treated as one. Take my advice. Give your husband a break. Yes. He don't eat your food. Stop cooking. He don't give you sex. Stop asking for it. He stops you from going to your office because he considers it as slavery. No problem. But you have to look for another thing doing like entrepreneurship. You have a very big compound here. You can use it as a lesson center. Or better still, open a shop in front of your house. My daughter, marriage is an institution. It has no formula. But the formula you use and it works for you. It's your own formula. People may be giving you advice, but you don't consider all. You pick those ones that will benefit your family, especially your man, your husband. Please, my daughter, I love you. 
I want to go to school. I'm having a meeting with staffs. So, if I go, come here. <laughs> I love you. I love you too, Mom. Take care. Thank you. Oh. Be a good wife. I really appreciate it. Make me proud. I'll try. Mm. I'll try. You do? Yes. <laughs> okay. Let me see all. Yeah, where is my bag? Okay. You, yeah. Let's go. Leave me alone. Don't touch me. You think calling my mother will save you, right? Hell no. I thought we sorted things out this afternoon. Sorted what out? Eh? You see this thing here? You will never enter it until you learn how to treat me like a queen that I am. Eh? Nonsense. Nora, this is my conjugal right. I have every right to go in there. Women and their problem. <laughs> News flash. Until you learn how to solve our problems correctly like mass, then we will no longer have problems. Good night. Nora, this is my conjugal right. Leave, leave, no, no, no. leave me alone. No, no. Leave me alone. No, no. Leave me alone. Stop. Stop. Nora, give me this. Hey, thing. somebody help Nora, me. I paid for this. Leave thing. me alone. I paid for this. With this boy. <laughs> okay. Okay. <laughs> what is wrong with this guy? to a point when I insult my mother. I never insulted your mother. I only told her what she needed to know. That she's ungrateful? Yes. There are thousands of men out there. But I still choose you. Is that not enough reason for her to be grateful? So, what is wrong with me? A whole lot. Huh? Have you looked at yourself lately? And who is the person you're chatting with? How is that your business? Nora, who is this person you're paying attention to? I asked you. Talk to me, who is this? Let me have this phone. Give, give me my phone. Give, oh, I give my phone. No, 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 strike. Owen. 
What is wrong with you? I'm fine. But you don't look fine. What is it? Chooks, you won't believe my wife is cheating on me. Oh, guys. I have an appointment with the clients. I need to be on my way as soon as possible. I'll be with you guys some other time. Come on, Cancelo. This is supposed to be your work here. What are you talking about? You always poke nosing on things that is not your business. Don't mind married therapists that doesn't believe in love. And how is that your business? I mean, you like poke nosing too much. I don't understand. Oh, sorry. I'll see you guys when I see you again. Uh, it's alright, choose. Business. <laughs> sorry, have you confirmed if the client has paid? Yes, he has. Then that means we have to link up with Alhaji. Just do that now. That's a very good idea. Uh, let me call him. Nora, come back here. And where the hell do you think you're coming from? I went somewhere with Lucy. Pardon? You heard me. I said I went out with Lucy. Nora, how many times have I warned you never to mingle with that lady called Lucy again? And that she's bad influence. Oh, look who is talking about bad influence. Why would I talk about your friend Jesus who sleeps around with every man and woman in town? What sagacity. What impetus. You don't have the guts. I mean the nerves to challenge me. I don't have time for this argument. I'm very, very exhausted. I need it now. Excuse me. Nora. Nora! Really? And where is that deviance? Where is she? Where is that recalcitrant nonsense? Calm down for what? How dare you come to my shop and raise your ugly voice? Who are you raising your voice at? Who gives you the, that audacity? It is not an insult. I have come to warn you. Listen, you are a bad influence on my wife and I advise you in own interest. Desist from her. You are a madman. You are stupid. Nora, your wife, is my friend, and I will not allow this marriage fire consume her. Listen. What nonsense. Have you ever been married before? Okay. Have you ever been engaged by a man, let alone cohabit with him? Listen. You lack the local standing to advise my wife. I don't know whatsoever your miserable name is called, but I want to advise you. Leave my wife alone. If I ever say you close to my wife again, I will personally nip you in the board. And I mean every word of it. You bring us to food. You are a madman. Take your two crooked legs out of my store. Idiots. And you call yourself a man. A lunatic like you. And you, the next time I will see such person in my store, you would know what to have. I'm sorry, Mom. Can I continue next? Chief, Chief, good afternoon. Good afternoon, my precious, my beautiful darling. Have you checked the product? Yes, so it is 500,000 Naira only. Okay, send in your account details. Okay, Chief. Chief, Chief, my baby boo for life. You know I love you, right? <laughs> Come on, spoiled boy. <laughs> Bye. <sighs> Wow. Okay.
Okay, let me send my count number right away. Uh, Owen, I am really so ashamed of myself. Do you remember the Mr. Marconi guy? Come on, the man I told you about yeah, yeah, is yeah. marriage counseling. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What about him? Jukes has been sleeping with his wife. That lady at the boys' bar last week? Yes, yes, yes. At the bar, at the boys' bar. Choose has been the one responsible for his broken marriage. Oh, and talk to Choose. Talk to that idiot. He's messing around with my client's wife. Owen, oh, please talk to Choose. Talk to him. You know why? I'm not going to take it lightly with him if he continues having an affair with that woman. It's okay, don't worry, I'll, I'll talk to him. But we'll have to continue this discussion at the boys' bar. But when talk to him, he just has to stop. <laughs> Uh, Nora, are we not eating anything in this house today? It what? I have not eaten in this house for a week now. That is your personal problem, not mine. I beg your pardon. Did you just speak to me with so much disdain and disrespect? How dare you? Like what, Owen? Like what? No, tell me. When last did you eat my food in this house? <laughs> there we go again. Calling one of your girlfriends to come and cook for you. Let me even help you. Use my phone and call her. Go ahead, shameless man. Take, use my phone and call her. Excuse me. Look, Lucy, I'm not going to find it funny with Owen if I find out that he's the one that collected my phone. What's wrong with this guy, Seth? Ah, ah! I told you of how he ran into my shop last week, almost beating me up. Ha. I'm so sorry about that, my dear. I just pray he doesn't read my chat with Chief. <laughs> Karo. I mean, forget that one. See, eh, your husband should be ashamed that another man is taking up his responsibilities. I beg, forget Jerry. Hmm. Hmm. I beg. When, do you, when are you having fun with Chief again? I beg, I beg, I beg, go land there. See, that one is not in my dictionary now. I need a stronger reason to break up with my husband. Not this one you're saying. Not in your dictionary. You are not serious. You better find time. Hmm? And see, Chief, else is not going to find it funny with you. Okay, Her Royal Majesty. I have heard you. I will make a time. Better. Are you happy now? I'm happy. Please sit down. Let them say, get you something. I mean, something chewed. What are you standard? That's why your husband is looking for beating people up and down. Peggy! Peggy! Yes, ma'am. Please come and get uh, Nora something to eat. And you need to explain to me why we have just this one cloth left. Why is it just one? A customer ordered for one last week. Yeah, and it's not in the book. Um, I'm sorry, ma. It was online ordered. <sighs> you always amaze me, bro. You see, you have to be very sure before going into conclusion. It's very important. 
Victor. I'm sure you saw the alert. Okay, tell me. What kind of a responsible man would send such an alert to another person's wife if nothing is going on between them? It could be a business transaction. Just like you normally do business, we choose. <laughs> Victor, be serious here. Yeah. Think about it. We're talking about my marriage here. Yeah. This is not a joke. Yes, I know it's your marriage. But you never built this marriage on a solid foundation. That's why you're having issues now. I know. I know. Marriage has its vicissitudes. I know. I know. But what do you advise me I do now? Well, at this point, I think you should go home, meet with your wife, call her to order, talk to her one on one, heart to heart. <laughs> think about it, bro. to me. I don't Give me my phone now. I don't know what you're talking about. You want to pretend for me, right? You collected my phone this morning while I was asleep and you're asking me questions. Please give me my phone. I didn't collect your phone. I don't know what you're talking about. If you didn't take it, then who did? Because for all I know, both of us stay in this house alone. Please, I don't have your time. Just give me my phone. I am not disputing the fact that both of us stay in this house. Check any of the room. My girlfriend might be living there. Please, I don't have strength for your trouble. Just give me my phone. Oh, I give me my phone. I just, I just told you. Checking up the rooms. You get it. This is a new way of saying, darling, welcome to God. <laughs> what are you still looking for? Why are you doing this to me? Why? Doing what? And if I may ask, why are you so concerned about this phone? Seriously? Oh, it is my phone. And I have a lot of things in there. Yeah. yeah. Things like your chat with Lucy and Chief. Nora, you're cheating on this, Mary. No. Why would you say such a thing? Who's Chief? Just a friend. What kind of a friend? A friend I met in a birthday party. So, the money he gave you is for what? Uh, um, um, uh, actually, um... Uh, uh, oh, uh, yeah, he's, uh, he's, yeah, you're stuttering. I thought as much. Nora, I thought as much. Nora. Nora. Excuse me. And where the hell do you think you're coming from? I ask you a question.
I'm coming back from the market. I needed to get some foodstuffs so I can prepare your favorite meal. Thank you. I have eaten and I even got you some. No, don't worry. I want to prepare your favorite meal. I said no. Can't you get it? I do not want to eat from the pot of a cheating wife. What? A cheating wife? I didn't cheat on you. Tell that to the birds. That is if they care to listen. You disgust me. Nora, I said you disgust me. Excuse me. What are you talking about? How can you call me a cheating wife? I, I just went to the market to get some food stops so I can prepare your meal. Yeah, hello. Hello? Hello? Yeah, this is Owen's wife. And who are you? Hello? Hello? <laughs> she hanged up on me. Really? Did you just pick my call? Talk to me! Who is she? Who? The lady you saved her number with, babe. That is not enough. She's just a friend. Hmm. Just a friend? And who is she to you? Nora, I just told you she's just a friend. Really? Who is not cheating on who now? I'm not cheating on Nora. Lies! You are cheating on me! I am not cheating on you! Lies! I am not! Lies! No. Don't push me! Let me have my phone now! What is impudence? Can't give my phone! What is sagacity? Get this time! I'm not going to take this, so. If, if, if you really want to stay in this house, Avoid this fool. Nonsense. Oh, well, I will not take this off. You are cheating on me. I will not take it. I can't believe he's cheating on me. Sorry, but I've told you countless times. Leave that marriage. A marriage that there's no happiness and you are sexually starved. What are you talking about? What I'm talking about is file for a divorce. The chief's wife is dead. And he will take care of you. And you will also take care of him. You see, it's easier said than done. What will people think of me? What will people say? Does it matter? Of course it does. No, it doesn't. Oh. Come on, Lucy, it does. Uh -uh. You need a man that will value you. Uh -uh, look at you now. A whole fine babe like you. You need a man that, that knows your worth, not that small boy you call your husband that does not even know what he has safe. See, we value Sorry. you. Excuse me. So, uh, Mrs. Amaranti is downstairs with you. Okay, tell her I'm coming. See, hmm? Chief will buy you different cars. Build or even buy you different houses, mansions. See, it will make you the biggest girl in this town. I think you're right. I deserve to be happy. Yeah, I'm always right. And stop crying these tears here. Yeah. Please make a wise decision. Let me see the lady downstairs. I'll be with you shortly. Okay.
Não está alto. You okay? I'm just coming back from Vitor's office. He said so many things I don't understand. Yeah, I only went to Vitor and I asked him to, to talk to you. That's right. You now involve a third party to our marriage. No, 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 no. That's not the intention. It's only asked him to appeal to your conscience. Appeal to my conscience about what exactly? that divorce is not an option. You know what? I don't have time for this nonsense. Just sign those papers. And you say this thing called marriage. I'm done. Nora? So excuse me. Nora, are you, are you choosing chief over me? Chief is only a pan. A flash in the pan. Victor, Victor, what did you tell my wife? My house is on fire. It didn't work. It didn't work. Whatever you told her did not work. It even got worse. As I talk to you now, my wife is going crazy. My wife is mad at me. I don't know. Mm. Okay. Uh, I'll do that. Thank you. I have learned never to allow any of my marital problem outside the confines of my home. Third party? No, no, no. I will solve my problems with my wife.
I hope all is well, my in-law. I am not happy. My wife wants to divorce me. But why would she do a thing like that? The truth is, we had this little misunderstanding. My in-law, you are the cause of all this. A man that is fast in making decisions end up making wrong one. You first accused your wife of being the cause of her problem. It is not her fault that she has wide womb that cannot carry babies. Hmm. I believe that no one goes to the market and buy problem to her or himself. Because of that, you deny her of her conjugal rights. Is that good? Mama, she chose an old man over me. Mm -hmm. I'm sorry for offending her. She did not choose old man over you. She chose peace over you. Mama, I did not call you to judge me. I called you to tell me what to do. Solve this problem for me. Okay. My dear, marriage is the opposite of what people displays these days. Um, before I talk to you, where is your wife? I want to talk to both of you. Where is she? Mama, I, I don't know where she went to. She's not in this house. You mean? No rap, baby. My baby girl, boss lady herself. Yes, that's me. <laughs> I'm here to see now. What's happening? Not the match. I'm not going to take this bag all more. This bag is fine. Yes, you can pick it. I love this bag. She can pay for it. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> Babe, I'm going to see you. I'm sure you can see how I'm enjoying my life. Mm -hmm. ah. Babe, see how you're shining now. Mm -hmm. ah, ah. When I see, you see me now, eh? Being a single mom is so sweet and I have peace of mind than being in one marriage that I'll be constantly disrespected. You're right, because me, I need peace of mind. You're still looking for peace of mind. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Chief is there now. Chief will give you <laughs> peace of mind. So your body go cool. Eh? Oh, <laughs> Yeah, talking about Chief, mm -hmm. do you know that he asked me to pick any car of my choice? He's going to order it for me. Is it left? Oh my God! God. <laughs> See, my dear God has remembered you. Mm. You'll not be crying when we'll cry because of your sin now. You know, trust me again. Ah. You know, trust me. Trust me again. Let me 
Excuse me, let me pick this call. Hello? Okay. All right. You see me now? Okay, bye. Oh, let's see. Mm -hmm. I have to go now. Oh, oh. My mom is in my house. Oh, okay, mom, see. Yes. So, I need to go see her. Oh, oh yeah, now. But see, don't forget to the car. Drink it. Of course, now. You don't trust me again. Uh, uh, the latest car. You see. Uh, uh, not with me again. Come come you see, come with me again. You see, I love this bag. I'll come for it. Call Chief. Chief will buy it. Don't worry. <laughs> <laughs> All right, then. Oh, so, we'll see that. Don't yeah. give me any updates. All right. Ah. Who do we have here? Welcome, Mom. Mm -hmm. How are you? Mom, you mm -hmm. didn't tell me you were coming today. Uh -uh. Am I supposed to come to this house only when I'm invited? Oh, no, Mom. Good. Sit down. <sighs> you both should listen to me. Marriage is a school. It's where you continue learning your partner till death do you part. When your partner wronged you, tell your partner when she or he wronged you. Don't take it to the heart. And when he asks for forgiveness, forgive and move on. Please, my in-law, have you asked her for forgiveness? Honey. Don't you dare call me that again. That word is meant for your girlfriends, not me. Please, I'm sorry from the depth of my heart. Liliana no genko. Ogi and Lilian are just friends to choose and I. You lie. I you are lying. I'm not lying. You are cheating on me. Hey, you are cheating on me. Both of you should shut up. Shut up your mouth. Hmm. This is not the best way to solve a problem. You can't solve a problem when you are making noise. When you are shouting. When you are talking back at each other. No. The gift of heart is a small word. It's small but mighty. When you say it to each other, it will make a difference. What do I mean by the gift of heart is a small word? Do you know the word that the spelling goes like this. S-O-R-R-Y. Just that it. I am sorry. I am sorry creates a room for forgiveness. I am sorry we melt a broken heart. I am sorry has a lot to go in human's life. Please, that is what I want both of you. Now, my in-law, have you tell her that you are sorry? Honey, please, I want you to give me another chance to make this thing work. I, I love you so much. Please, let this thing work again. I'm ready to turn a new leaf. Please. And you, Laura, what did you do? Answer me! Mom, 
Like you said, I should give him a break. I have decided to do that. Huh? To give me a break? That is not what I mean by divorcing him. No! Oh, God. Giving him a break, I mean, is not to be fighting him. Pushing him around. Making this whole house hot. No. Please. Divorcing him is not the best option. My daughter, don't make a decision that you will live to regret. Please. H honey. Please. I want you to give me another chance to make this work. Whatever Lucy told you, it's not true. I still love you. Give me a chance to make this thing work. I still, I, I want you back. Please. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <sighs> now, I'm leaving. Both of you are adults. You can settle your matter. Anything that happens in marriage remains in that marriage. Not to take it outside. Involving the third party. Please. I am leaving. You are adults. Sort this problem out. Settle it. Both of you should settle it. Please. Thank My daughter. Thank you. My daughter. Please. Because we may not give you what you want. So settle yourself. Hello, Mama. My son, I am doing this for your good. Mama, I have told you times without number. I don't want us to be discussing this anymore. It's now two years, and you don't think God is trying to tell you something. Mom, I love my wife. And I'm not ready to let in another woman. I will wait for God's time. Then like what? That she is not your own. Mama, with due respect, I don't want to hang up on you. If you continue like this, I will never pick your call again. Okay, or what's this? I'm sorry. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I will not talk about it again. Is she in the kitchen? She's not in the house. Ever since I came back, I've not seen her. Hmm. Are you sure she's not having an affair outside that marriage? Yes. There's nothing like a chill beer, you know. Really? Yeah. Tell you. Bad lady, replace the bottles, please. And um, what's up, my guy? How far is you and your wife? Chooks. 
when did you start showing care? Come on. I'm only trying to be a good friend. You know, you never care to seek advice from me. Mm -hmm. See who is talking. All he know about is to talk about this and that. You are a bad influencer, I told you. Come on, shut up. Well, guys, uh, I'm a married man. And I've learned how to solve my marital issues within the confines of my home. Thank God. Oh. Yeah. Thank you God. see, this idea of bringing a third party into whatever problem you have in your home causes more harm than good. But that doesn't stop us from shutting down the club tonight. You know, there is this new club in town. Say it. There is nothing else you can hear from this man. Club, smoke, women, drinks, nothing else. Come on. My guy, I tire for your matter. <sighs> Chooks. Always, always. I don't think I'm caught out for clubbing tonight, okay? I want to go back home and meet my wife. I've got too many things to do. Remember, I'm no longer single. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So, responsible man. <laughs> <laughs> so you, you mean to tell us that you don't want to club with us again? Or what? I don't want. I, I don't want to. I don't want to use the word bad influence. But chooks. Come and pick me. Yes, I'm ready. Like now. Okay, don't be late. Honey, why are you doing this to me? Huh? Look, Owen, I have made up my mind. And you see the decision that I've made? I can never regret it. Please. Just give me one more chance to make this work, please. I can never disappoint Chief. Anyone that has Chief has everything. Like they say, you can never reject a cup of tea for a spilled milk. Look, Owen, I have chosen a better life and I think you need to accept it. Honey, please. I rescind your decision. I promise to make things work. I'm Don't a changed man. Touch me. Please. Don't. It's still me. Come on, please. I'm sorry. Please now, man. Please. I'm sorry. Hello, Mom. Mom, my wife has left me. Please, she's your daughter. I, I want you to talk to her for me. Please. Victor, Victor, my life is in shambles. I'm, I'm devastated. My wife has left the house. Please, Victor, come first. I am an emotional wreck. Please, just come first, please. Yeah, in the house. No one supports me. 
not even Owen's family. I feel alone. Um, Baba, can you say that now? You've got me. And you have my support. Anytime, any day. Lucy. Listen, let me tell you something. You know nothing about marriage. You don't keep misleading your friend. As a single mother, you don't do that. It doesn't make sense. Hello, excuse me. What gives you the audacity to speak to me in that tone? See, I won't have you come into my shop and it insults me. Excuse me. Babe, when you are done hmm, with all of this, please let me know. I'm leaving. That is the peace of mind you seek. Fito, I don't know. I, I'm confused. Oh, really? You are confused? Go home and meet your husband. He's waiting for you. He cheated on me. You cheated as well! I never did. Chief was only my friend. Hmm, friend indeed. Listen, let me tell you. The devil you know is better than the angel you don't know. I know Chief must have given you the entire world. But remember, you can't just fight for a divorce because of simple mistake. It doesn't make sense. Go home and meet with your husband. Okay. I've heard you. Thank you. The choice is all yours. Thank you, Vito. Have a good day. You too. Fine, babe. What's your conclusion now? Look, I have made my decision. Okay, and what is it? Look, I need to be happy. And he's the only one that can make me happy. Who? My husband, of course. Huh? I really missed him. I have missed him. Hello? Which husband? What nonsense husband are we talking about here? See, don't allow fire consume you. Lucy, mm -hmm. Lucy, you're a bad friend. Who, me? Yes, you are a bad friend. And you know what? That fire will not consume me. Rather, it will make me stronger. What is your problem? You, you, I don't want to hear your lies anymore. Did I beg you to come and miss me? Enough! I don't want to hear your lies anymore. Look, you need a man in your life. You need to put yourself together and stop breaking homes. Breaking homes? Yes! Did I beg you to come and meet me? What kind of a friend are you? I'm breaking Please. homes. Please, I don't have time for, for, for your, your life. It's only that carried your two crooked legs to come and ask me for advice, so. Can you imagine I'm breaking home? Me? It's not your fault. That's why you're inside that marriage, so something and smiling. No sense. <laughs> I'm really sorry for what happened. I want us to start afresh again. Thank you for coming back to my life. I really wronged you. I'm sorry from the depth of my heart. I'm sorry. 
It's okay. I'm sorry too. Sorry too. I missed you. I missed you. <laughs> So how are you? I'm good. I miss my home. We all missed you too. We all missed you. <laughs> like it in you. Oh, <laughs> <wait. laughs> Sweetheart, I'm really sorry for what I made you go through. I mean, all that is in the past now. I want us to start afresh as lovers. You've just spoken my mind. You see, I feel demeaned as a man for letting a third party into our family crisis. Of course, I should have been man enough to handle it. But it is what it is. It was important nice. We've settled and we're back again. I'm sorry too, baby. I'm sorry for what I made you go through. I should have known better not to involve a third party to our marriage. Sorry. I mean, I, I, I feel less of a man that I had to involve. I don't want to use that word third party, maybe your mom, but however, it's still a third party. Uh, In every marriage, couples should learn how to solve their problems themselves. Definitely. I'm sorry. I'm, I'm sorry. sorry I'm sorry. I'm sorry for everything. Sorry I promise it will never happen again. I'll be a better man. I swear. I will be a better man. This is going to be the last problem we ever had. I've learned the hard way. And I pray this will not happen again. I love you. I love you too, baby. <laughs> <laughs> Let me feed my prince charming i thought i should have done it. oh <laughs> it's okay <laughs> don't this first no you're my baby Ooh, and... you can feel like a child <laughs> all right well. mm. maybe i should reciprocate maybe i should i should reciprocate too <laughs> So, honey. Yes, dear. How is the day going to be like? Um, nothing really serious. I want to go to the market and get some food stops. And from there, I, I need to go see mom at the hospital. Don't worry about that. I'll follow you to see your mom in the hospital. But that should be later in the day. Really? Sure! Wow, that is so thoughtful of you. Thank you. I love you so much. I love you too, baby. <laughs>